The great man, the great man, does whatever a great man can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Great Man. A video from Great Man. Great Maniacs Gavar. I'm going to show you some comics that I've got recently. Uh, I've got a nice little batch of giant size. Here's giant size Superman 8 page giant number 193. This is part of the normal Superman run, but that's a great cover. Look at all the blinking boxes there. The most sensational story, the death of Superman. The most unusual story, Clark Kent's lost parents. The most puzzling story, the five stolen S shirts. The most exciting story, the first Superman of Krypton. And the most rip-roaring story, the guilty bizarro. So they spell out super. <laughs> the five stories spell out, spell out the word super. Right, and this is the part of the 80 page giant series. So this is issue number six of the 80 page giants. And there's another Superman classic. Classic tales of Superman there, classic cover with lots of little boxes with lots of interesting stuff going on we've got monster x we've got bizarro superman and bizarro lois lane we've got the thing that stalks smallville we've got the creature of a thousand disguises and the hyper menace from krypton in the middle there right another giant superman annual uh, this is number eight. Actually, is, is that first one was an 80 page giant, and this is a giant Superman annual. Not to be confused, they think they're a different run. So, giant Superman annual number eight. Another load of different stories there, different images put on the cover there. We've got the rocking chair Superman, Krypton's first Superman. I've already saw that in the other one. Origin of Superman super costume, the rainbow Clark Kent, origin of green and red kryptonite, origin of Mr. Mixapitalik, and extras, Superboy's first day in school, and when Lois first suspected Clark. There you go. Another 80 page giant Superman. This is issue number 11, featuring the greatest Superman Luther jewels. You've got Secrets of Luther's Lair, Luther's Diabolic Experiment, the Luther Toyman Prankster Team, Luther's Kryptonite Army, Luther's Conquest of Superman, and Extra, the Mystery of Lena Forrell, Luther's ESP sister. <laughs> yeah. Right, my first Christian Spire comic, or Spire Christian comics, The Hiding Place. Petsy, how can we go on turning the other cheek? We must, Corey. We must show them love is stronger than hate. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to work, uh, unfortunately. Right, we've got a giant flash, issue number four, uh, 80 page giant. The cream of the crop collection of the Scarlet Speedster's most treacherous traps. Cornered by a mammoth mosquito, imprisoned in a giant hourglass, immobilized by a thousand pounds of weight, menaced by black lightning and pursued by a pirate torpedo. Extra, an original Flash classic from the golden age of comics, nine empty uniforms. So here we have a magnificent Flash cover there. All very good stuff. All right, a couple of Conans, number 117. Looks like an older one to me. That you wouldn't believe this was about over a hundred. It looks like I think it's for summer art, and you sort of kind of like think them as to be in the earlier numbers. But that's a good cover for later in the Conan run. And I've got a giant size Conan number three, special Academy Award issue featuring Devil Wings over Shadizar, New Fury in the Iron Tower, Sword and Sorcery at its most savage. And here we are. Conan is looking kick ass. Kick ass Conan. Right, a couple of old Fantastic Fours, number 136. Come on, you costume pikers. You want power? I'll show you power. The wild one cometh. Then we have Ben, stop, you don't understand. All I know, Richards, is that you tried to kill your own son. It's too late, Ben, too late for all of us. Little Franklin is glowing like an atomic bomb. Is this the end of the Fantastic Four? And then we have the coming of Darkoff, the Deaf Demon. Is that the door? Yeah. Captain America and the Falcon. And a couple of coverless Billy the Kids. All right, carrying on from uh, the last part of the video. Do you know there was a knock at the door? I mentioned there was a knock at the door. It turned out it wasn't uh, the plumber we were expecting. It was a, a fire alert. We thought we had a fire in the flat. There was all smoke coming out of the, the flat next door to ours. Uh, so we all evacuated. We were still outside for a while. Poor little Lisa was freezing. 
And it turned out it wasn't actually a fire. It's some kind of weird alarm that pumped out smoke, like some kind of like anti theft device. It's, I think it sort of been in like a shop or a bank or something. It was pumping out all this smoke. It's really weird. Anyway, let's show, go show some comics I've been sitting at home. This is a freebie I've got thrown in. I'm going to start off with the rubbish ones. Right, these aren't particularly rubbish, but there's, um, they're not all super exciting. These are some run fillers, a bunch of legions that have, um, must be getting close to filling off these, these runs. Uh, Legion and Legionnaires, pick these all up cheap. Uh, a lot of them by Giffen, I think. Was this Giffen did a lot of these? So some, of the, some of the run he started, I think he started the run, but of course, uh, sadly died recently. I'm going to keep an eye out to see if there's any one eye covers in any of this lot because I'm trying to sort out one eye covers for cover slingers this week. And uh, so far, I have three, and uh, I've got to rush back to, to Lisa's to feed, uh, feed her boy, <laughs> do some shopping. So, I best get my button gear. Uh, right, I'll just try and show these quickly. What is the time? We're coming up to two. I've got to be home by f back by four. Damn. Um, your beautiful lawn, I'd rather go there. Triplicate girl. Back when she was triplicates. Right, so that's all the Legion. This is another weird run that I'm getting. <laughs> Trying to finish up. Power pack. I managed to pick up a load of uh, cheap power packs. And um, so, yeah. Here you go. We've got some power pack action for you. This one I showed on Cover Slingers a while back. Um... Yeah, I remember reading this, my mate used to take these, and I, I read them, I thought it was alright, they were quite fun little comics. And so I was trying to get a cheap run of them so I can read them again. Uh, they don't go for much. I think, I, I think number one might be a tenner or something. I don't think I've got number one yet. Uh, dolphins! Oh my god, is that a cosmic what's her face? Whoopi Goldberg. It's like a cosmic Whoopi Goldberg there. Right, I got a nice little um this one's only two quid, I think. And it's like a trade of like some awesome old Silver Age uh non-powered Wonder Woman. Um yeah. I think I could cost me two quid that. I thought, yeah, I'll have a bit of that, thanks. A bit of Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. Right now we're getting to some more interesting uh older sort of stuff that I'm known for. We've got a nice action comics here. You must die like these two supermen before you. And this crypt is reserved for me. Who were the mystery supermen? Why were the doom bells tolling? Superman, you're dead. 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 <laughs> and then we got a champion sports issue. Got it cheap. The kid who beat the Oakland A's, the little racer, and the first hurdle. Right, a coverless cave Carson. Adventures. A nice old adventure comics. This is in the period when he went back to the old style of like adventure stories rather than um, superheroes. Uh, a 80 page giant Robin, which I've never quite had before. Pretty sure I got that pretty cheap. Right, a nice adventure comics again. Put on your Martha Kent mask, quick. Superboy is about to awaken. He mustn't suspect that we are not his parents, but aliens from another world. Featuring the stolen identities. <laughs> that is a superb cover. Love that. Right, and here's a nice one. Actually, I didn't realise I had this one. I saw this actually on somebody else's channel the other day. I saw it in passing. I thought that's a nice one. I didn't realise I had it, but I do. <laughs> Obviously, I've only just got it in recently, so that's why I didn't remember it. I'm sorry to say it, Master, but I'm making another triple jump. The kryptonite rings that circle this asteroid will keep me marooned here forever. I've become a Robertson Crusoe of space, and this robot is my man Friday. <laughs> awesome. All right, another great adventure. I'm not going to read them all, though, because uh, I've got to get moving. I've got to find two more uh, one eye covers for a start. All right, another awesome adventure. Well, here's a cool one with Supergirl. Great Krypton, how can you possibly lift that giant rocket? I'm the only Supergirl on Earth. You mean you were, but I'm even more powerful than you, Supergirl. You see, I'm your older sister. Can you solve the secret of Supergirl's big sister? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sexy ladies. Right, uh, 
This one I was I didn't I, okay, I was because there's another one with this guy on the cover, Rickles, Don Rickles. I keep forgetting that. Uh, so I'm to get this one now. I've got both of them now. I keep getting confused, like, like if I had the other one or not. But finally, I've definitely got it now. Well, a couple of uh, Greatest Adventure. Um, is this featuring? I don't know. I think this is this is an early one. This is not including uh, the Doom Patrol. I just like the cover. First, you created that giant microbe. Now, why are you luring it to us? Oh dear, we battled the micro menace. No jokes about my. Um, Little grey man, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> right, let's get rid of this label that's covering the awesome cover. Tell me about the slight water damage, whatever, I don't care. Right, it's uh, My Greatest Adventure number 83. The world's strangest heroes are threatened by one of their own team when Negative Man goes berserk. Nice early Doom Patrol story. Right, another adventure. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be in this pile, actually. We'll see. <laughs> I'm sure this wasn't meant to be in this pile. I can't remember now. I know, I remember looking at it and thinking I already had it. I'm going to check that. I'm going to check if I get this one already. It looks familiar. Right. Uh, more adventure stuff. Uh, Legionnaire, say your prayers. I warned you no vault could keep me prisoner. Let's get rid of that as well because that's covering the, the speech bubble. We're dead. His magic is greater than our combined superpowers. More Drew the Merciless. Mm-hmm. He is rather merciless, that more Drew. Look, the mystic stone shows Chameleon Boy is doomed, and even I can't save him. Who can prevent the execution of Chameleon Boy? Nice Supergirl. Get rid of the blurbs, the, the stickers that are covering the blurbs. I know they're one and the same, and now to prove it. There you go. There's a, I think she was uh, Lex Luthor's niece or something weird like that. I can't remember now. Not, not the, the good niece, but I saw she had something to do with Lex Luthor, but there was a Lena Forrell, not Lena Forrell. Was it Lena Forrell? It was, yeah, I think it was Lena Forrell, because it was, it, oh, this one, I kind of got this one by accident. I managed to get a double of this, so I'm keeping it. All right. Uh, a nice couple of old, nice Justice League of America. These are from Splat Comics. Splat Comics have got a sale on. A lot of these are from Splat Comics, and they had a, uh, a great sale on. So I've been taking advantage of it. Uh, yep. Yeah. And he started giving, as well as giving you loads of stickers, he gives you chocolates now as well. Superhero chocolates with like coins, chocolate coins with like superhero stickers on them. <laughs> so I've had loads of those. And I say I've taken advantage of his offers and I've uh, kind of bought a few to sell on kind of thing. Um, because, you know, it helps. It helps. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of those stickers. I don't, I don't I mean, I know people like to know about the, the state of the book or whatever, but after I'm gone, I don't care. So <laughs> I like to see them without stickers all over the covers if I can. So there's a nice one. Now, who's the toughest Justice Leaguer of them all? That'll be you, Superman. It was never, never in doubt, I don't think. You're one tough cookie, you Kryptonian crazy man. Right, the Justice League of America meets the Chaos Maker. Ooh, look at the faces on them. Look at their faces. Right, a bit of creeper action. Get rid of these stickers. I'm stringing the JLA along, just so I am the rest of the world. Bit of creeper action. And... Number 71. Death Orbit. Right, a uh, nice Batman. Another nice Batman. Let's get rid of this, these labels. There we go. Batman looks like he's about to cark it at the hands of the Joker. Right, Creeper again. Enter the Creeper and exit the Batman. Dead. 
don't know why Bat by Creep is so often portrayed as a villain. All right, another uh, Detective Comics. Oh, Poison Ivy there. Batman and Nocturna. Couple of famous detectives here. Batman and Sherlock Holmes. Anniversary, 50 years. All right. The nice old Doom Patrol. Only I can stop these mechanical soldiers by removing my radioactive bandages. But the rays can destroy you too, Elastic Girl. The terrible secret of Negative Man finally is revealed when the Brotherhood of Evil strikes again. So, nice Doom Patrol. 64 pages to stagger the imagination. I think it says that. I've got to move this cover out of the way so I can see what it actually says. Yeah, stagger the imagination. Super size from beyond the unknown. The fish men of Earth. <laughs> I was looking at Higgy Pop showed a few of these recently and I love these covers they're amazing no and um, not was it Higgy Pop it was uh, Werewolf by Lunchtime he so rarely does a blinking video I forgot I should have remembered it was him amazing Devil's Island of Space startling most dangerous man on earth astonishing tomorrow's hero prophetic destination star fantastic the 24,000 hour day astounding answer man of space we're like fish in an ocean an ocean of air Wee, this is fun. <laughs> okay, you think it's fun? Not everybody would. Right, a nice old ghosts for Halloween. It's midnight. Why hasn't the clock rung? <laughs> because there's a dead thing emerging from it. It's messed up the pendulum. And if you want something swinging like a pendulum, here is, don't be rude, here is a skeleton hanging from a tree. <laughs> Swinging like a pendulum. Right. Another nice old Silver Age DC. This is the last couple of comics here now. Uh, it's Metal Men again. Oh, you know, I might have to do cover slingers, just free comics and just not bother. Uh, it's Metal Men. If we don't get our own heads back on in time, Kimo will destroy us. Sure, I've got this one already. Or did I show it already in a recent video? This is looking very familiar. I wonder if I've accidentally bought it another time some, somewhere else, oh, I don't know. And this is the last one, Metal Men, number 49. That's your lot. Cheers for watching. It's probably been a long video. I try to keep it quick, quick by finishing this one up quickly. Right, I'm off. Cheers for watching. Uh, have a great, amazing day. And until next time, may all your news be good news. Have a great amazing day, I'll oh, have a great amazing day, have a great amazing day, I oh, hope you have a great amazing day.